All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Welcome to Thinking Biblically. This is the 23rd day of February, I think, if the clock is right, in the year of our Lord, 2024. Uh, yeah, it is. It is Friday, right? Friday. Yeah, it is Friday. Okay, that's right. I never know. that the, the number keeps changing on me down there on the bottom of the computer screen. You know, it's so one thing when you're retired, you don't actually need to know what day of the week it is. There is no need to know. Okay, so anyway, what I want to talk about, except tomorrow is the uh, the primary in South Carolina, Nikki Haley's state. And of course, she's going to win the primary, right? Yeah, she's going to get squashed like a bug. Well, I'm, and I'm not unhappy about that at all. She is a neocon, and a uh, as such, deserves no respect at all. And will get none from me. Yeah, uh, she's way out of her place. You know. <sighs> Yikes. So why do you vote people like that for governor? Oh, have you heard about the the mayor we have in Illinois here in the suburb of Chicago called uh, Dalton, D-O-L-T-O-N. I can't remember her name. Um, um, they have a, 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 a mayorette there. <laughs> <laughs> that is a gangster. She 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 owns that town. Well, it's only about fifteen hundred people, I, I believe. But she owns that town more than um, uh, who was the guy in Chicago? Al Capone. Al Capone. She she's worse than Al Capone. She is actually the mayor, and she's also the head of the uh, the executive of the township, and so she's double dipping to like around $350,000 in salary. She has turned the police department into a, her own group of enforcers, and they're engaged in a community shakedown operation of all the businesses. Plus, she's a lot like that that DA down in, uh, or my wife said, she said, oh, that reminds me of the one down in Georgia. Now, this, she's, this one is just over the top. Far worse, far worse. You have to, you have to check out the mayor of Dalton, D O L T O N, Illinois. Again, it's a Chicago, Chicago suburb. I, I, there is the news came out because it appears that the FBI is investigating her. Oh, if there's somebody that the FBI should be investigating, it is people like that. So, what is this video about? It's about Donald Trump, and I've had concerns about Donald Trump. He has his good moments, and when you look at the other side, it's like. Uh, you know, Biden, he has no good moments. There's nothing good about Biden at all. Uh, with Trump, well, Trump's biggest enemy is Trump. Uh, you could, Christians, like, my biggest enemy is myself. I mean, the, the world, the flesh, and the devil, of those three, the flesh is the greatest hazard for Christians. The devil's a nuisance. He's like a horse fly, just, you know, every once in a while. He lands, you get to swat him. But nevertheless, and the world, we're constantly being bombarded by the world. Uh, we simply don't fit in. But uh, this is not our world. It's, it's this man-made system, man-made society. This America is not my home. It is not my home. It's not my permanent place of residence. In fact, America itself is only temporary. Uh, even the land is only temporary. But this particular government, well... Governments have ex expiration dates on, and America's expiration date is just about due. You know, the shelf life is, uh, you know, it, eventually it goes bad, and America has gone bad. It actually had a very bad start. Uh, no country that uh, will not acknowledge God has a future. 
and the United States did not acknowledge God in the Constitution. And the God that was mentioned in the Declaration of Independence, Jefferson's God, is not God at all. None of the Founding Fathers were Christians. If they were, they would not have engaged in a revolution against King George, was, was, who was no... You know, compared to the people we have in power in the United States, we would all welcome King George. He might have not been terribly competent, but he was a devout Christian, at least. <sighs> Unlike any of the current, current residents of Buckingham Palace over there. That debased group. All right, so, but it, that's all right, because England is slowly being taken over by Islam anyway, and they'll just replace the head of state with a caliph or something. Cultural suicide. Europe is engaged in cultural suicide as a whole. It's, it's sort of a, the West as a whole is, is, is experiencing, I, I believe the clinical term is psychosis, a lack of ability to discern the difference between reality and self-delusion or fantasy. And that's my concern about Trump. Trump has always struck me as someone with a, uh, a active ego, shall we say. I'll be kind here, because Trump does have certain redeeming qualities. Uh, he, he, he can show his good side now and then. But he has a very powerful ego. What did he, I don't know if he, he, he gave an interview once before his first election and they, somebody asked him, does he forgive or does he ever ask for forgiveness? And Trump's response as far as forgiving other was, no, I get even. That's disturbing. Now, Trump may have grown since then, <laughs> but, uh, you know, choosing Paula White as your spiritual advisor demonstrates that you're not a Christian. Uh, no knowledgeable Christian would ever consider Paula, Paula White as a spiritual advisor. She was a prosperity preacherette. I'm not sure what she's doing now. Last I heard last summer, she was over in Israel learning from some rabbi. In other words, she's not Christian at all. And she had some message out saying that we should not seek to convert the Jews, but rather to learn from them. I've heard that before. The uh, Lutheran Church, uh, Evangelical Lutheran Church of America, many years ago, uh, had a international me um, missionary event, and the theme of it was listening to Muslims. Yeah, not converting them. That was a no-no, listening to them. And, of course, we know where that denomination has gone since. They've gone all multicolored, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to be nice today. Um, but Donald Trump, my concern with him is his ego, and he demonstrates that too often. And the com in combination with MAGA, a, a devoted mob of worshipers, and MAGA, I mean... I remember, what was it, the last, in the 2020 election, the, the, the truckers' parades, the car caravans, and the boat parades, like down in Florida, this, these, these flotillas. Trump had a larger navy than the United States. They weren't just big, but as far as the boats, but definitely more. Uh, it was, uh, I mean, impressive, but... With Trump's ego, with an adoring multitude, MAGA is his worshipers. That's a dangerous combination. And it is affecting Trump's mind, apparently. So Trump, I don't know where I saw this. It just happened to come up um, somewhere else. But uh, Trump, of course, has true social. And I saw on some other website this video. And I thought, well, I've got to go find the source on this. Um, and so this was posted on Truth Social, which I don't have an account on. I understand on Truth Social, it's not really truth, because if you post anything that is critical at all of Donald Trump, it is censored. 
Yeah, so the, that kind of principle, principle truth, as long as it, that's a democratic principle of truth. That, that if it agrees with your policies, it's truth. If it doesn't, it's not true. So that's, uh, you know, that is, seems to be an American policy now. But I saw this, and I want to play it. It's 2 minutes 45 seconds. So this was posted from, on True Social, which I understand Donald Trump has got a deal on now where somebody else wants to merge on that, and it's going to pay him four billion dollars so she, she should be able to cover that new york fine <laughs> yeah or just buy new york city you know with four billion dollars you could buy all the government officials in new york they're for sale pretty cheap just like senators i was looking up how much apac is given to them some of these you know a a decent prostitute gets more money than these senators get they sell themselves cheap uh, but a, a prostitute doesn't break, well, unless she's married, she doesn't break her oath. Senators and congressmen do when they sell out to interests like APAC or others, not just APAC. Yeah, but APAC seemed to have purchased the vast majority of them. Cheap! I mean, $1,500? Uh, I, think, I think Biden had the most uh, money taken from him, and, and it was not, uh, I mean... He's probably gotten a whole lot more money from Ukraine. Okay, back, back to the subject here. So I'm going to, so I don't know what, I'm going to drive the YouTube algorithm cr crazy with this because uh, how will they judge whether this is good or bad? Yes, I'm, I guess I'm like Dirty Harry, you know. Why did they call you Dirty Harry? You'll have to look up the quote yourself. But yes, my, see, my loyalty is not to the United States, is to Jesus Christ. So this, yeah. Yeah, I've, it's not to Donald Trump, and it's not to Joe Biden. Not even the United States, no. No, 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 Jesus Christ is my king, and I will have no other. And I will not be happy until he's sitting on his throne. On Earth. Yep. So let's, uh, uh, I'm going to play this. I had it set up so I'd blow up bigger on the screen, but it, I think it works better like this. Uh, keep the images down to a manageable. This is so you can actually see the context here. Again, this is Donald J. Trump posed from his true social. Verified it is his uh, at Trump Daily Posts. And the title of this video is Do God Made Trump. Now, for Trump supporters to produce this video, okay, you know. But for Donald Trump to post this video himself, oh, that is not good. See, that, that's a manifestation of a an ego that is out of control, a total lack of humility. Um that you would allow yourself to be, to do somebody to, you would publicize a video that says what this video says. Especially for, you know, for me as a Christian, um, this is not tolerable. So let's let this play here. <laughs> And on June 14, 1946, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker, so God gave us Trump. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, fix this country, work all day, fight the Marxists, eat supper, then go to the Oval Office and stay past midnight at a meeting of the heads of state. So God made Trump. I need somebody with arms, strong enough to rustle the deep state, and yet gentle enough to deliver his own grandchild. Somebody to ruffle the feathers. Tame, cantankerous. Let me point out here. The very idea that God needs someone is heretical. That God can't handle things himself. He needs a mere sinful human being. No. <laughs> no, God doesn't need anyone. We need him. He doesn't need us. 
He can choose to use us, but he doesn't need us. The World Economic Forum, come home hungry, have to wait until the First Lady is done with lunch with friends, then tell the ladies to be sure and come back real soon, and mean it. So God gave us Trump. I need Okay, some of the self-praise is okay. But when you say, but God needed Trump, God needed Donald Trump. I mean, Trump does some things that are worthy of praise, like going to North Korea, which is mentioned down here. However, to imagine that God needed you, God can't do it without you. That is way over the top. Somebody who can shape an axe but wield a sword, who had the courage to step foot in North Korea, who can make money from the tar of the sand, turn liquid to gold. Well, these aren't actually, all these things are not actually what Donald Trump does, okay? He is a businessman. He understands the difference between profit and loss uh, and debt and real prosperity, which is not something the Democratic Party understands. However, that's why he's a threat, because they're, they're in total psychosis. But Trump is on that way, I'm afraid. Who understands the difference between tariffs and inflation will finish his 40-hour week by Tuesday noon, but then put in another 72 hours. So God made Trump. God had to have somebody willing to go into the den of vipers, call out the fake news for their tongues as sharp as a serpent's. The poison of vipers is on their lips, and yet stop. Okay, that's a quote from the scripture, but it doesn't refer just to the mainstream media. It refers to humanity in general. So God made Trump. God said, I need somebody who will be strong and courageous who will not be afraid or terrified of the wolves when they attack, a man who cares for the flock, a shepherd to mankind who won't ever leave. No oh. Okay, th this is... Okay, whoever produced this video is a worshiper of Donald Trump, an idolater, and a blasphemer, a blasphemer of God and Jesus Christ. Although I don't suppose they realize that. But the, the thing that concerns me, especially, not that some worshiper of Donald would produce this, but Donald receives it and obviously wants it, has reposted it, posted it on True Social, and then posted it also on X. That is disturbing. That is very disturbing. Or forsake them. I need the most diligent worker to follow the path and remain strong in faith and know the belief of God. Now there's there's his spiritual, well, some of them. I think Paula has gone someplace else. She is she is not a Christian. She is a worshiper of money. The prosperity go, uh, cult, the prosperity gospel is a false anti-Christ gospel. God hates it, despises it. The only reason he allows it is that, okay, you can choose what is get, comes from God or you can choose something else. This is pre-trial discovering, people. Pre-trial discovery. Your, your, God is seeing who is naughty and nice. To use another metaphor, who will you side for? Will you side for the truth? Will you side for what God says? Or will you worship what man worships? Whatever pleases them. There's no difference, essentially, between MAGA and the crazy left. They are worshipers of man, not God. Because those who worship God do not tolerate this kind of stuff. This is, you know, this... In ancient Israel, what the people of Israel would so often do, 
that really upset God was they would go to the temple and worship God. And then they would go up to the high places and worship Moloch and worship the Asherim and worship uh, the, the other false gods. And they didn't think there was anything wrong with that. They weren't ashamed to worship God and then go out and worship the devils. They were so spiritually blind that they saw no difference. And country, somebody who's willing to drill, bring back manufacturing and American jobs, farm the lands, secure our borders, build our military, fight the system all day, and finish a hard week's work by attending church on Sunday. And then his oldest son turns and says, Dad, let's make America great again. Dad, let's build back a country to be the envy of the world again. So God made Trump. Okay, God made Trump. Well, not really. Not really. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to be the savior of the world. Donald Trump does not qualify for that position. It is not, I'm not surprised that some mega de devotee would produce a video like this. But that Donald Trump would post it on his social media platform and then repost it on X. Donald Trump has embraced this worship of himself. That is exceedingly dangerous, considering Donald Trump is a fallen human being. Praise is always a danger to any person. Saints shun it because they don't trust themselves. Sinners embrace it because they love themselves above all things and want to be God. I cannot trust Donald Trump. In fact, I don't trust any human being. Christ is my king. I will have no other. No other is one is worthy of rule. So I'll just have to wait until he makes his appearance. But to support Donald Trump, a man with an ego so out of control, so devoted, uh, so devoted to self-worship that he would post this video and repost this video, and doesn't seem to think there's a problem with it. He does not have the wisdom to be president of the United States. Nor does Joe Biden. Nor does anyone in Washington. Well, this is what happens when a nation does not honor God as God. Donald Trump can go to church and then post this video. Well, that just demonstrates he is not a Christian, not a true Christian. Otherwise, he'd be aghast at this praise. But Donald Trump has a very weak spot, and it's his own ego. And Satan will surely manipulate Donald Trump, as he manipulates everyone who's not born again. He knows all the right buttons to push to get Donald to dance the tune. Satan's tune. The scripture says, was it the, uh, the Apostle John in 1 John, I believe, says that the whole world, we know the whole world lies in the evil one. Uh, the, literally, that, that word can be translated as reclines. So it's like, like a... Uh, the the bride of Satan is leaning back into his arms kind of thing. The world. 
leaning into the arms of Satan. Reclining into his arms. Yes, that's about the situation. If you are of the world, well, that's where you are. Satan can manipulate you very easily. And you'll believe his lies because he'll tell you what you want to hear. He will not tell you the truth. He will not tell you what you need to hear. See, Donald Trump says he will make America great again. Donald Trump is in capable of that. First of all, America has never been great. That is the truth. The United States has always been simple. The United States led the revolution against Christianity as the foundation of civilization. The foundation of, uh, of law. Civilizational Christianity is not true Christianity but at least God is recognized as a source of truth and the source of justice and the standard of what's right and wrong. Without God, you have no standard of right and wrong. But that is not sufficient to save you. Only a personal relationship with Jesus Christ through faith in him can possibly save you. So though civilizational Christianity may be good for certain purposes, it is not sufficient. It is not sufficient. And there are things that make a candidate impossible to vote for. One of which is, for example, supporting Israel in their genocide, or any country engaged in that genocide, or supporting Ukraine, assuming you know the truth. It's like Israel, assuming you know the truth. Because we've been uh, deluged, flooded with lies. The media in the United States is utterly unreliable. And what's on, unless you know how to search and look for it and have a, a, a can recognize truth. Even the internet is nothing but, it's, it's, it's like sifting through a cesspool. You'll find a lot of stink and a lot of filth before you'll find anything true. The internet's like that. It is like the, the Tiber River in Rome. That's where they threw all the debris and sewage. That's the internet. It's all there. If you know he who is truth himself, then it is possible to recognize truth. But if you do not know God, you have already been thoroughly deceived because you've been born a human being and you're not interested in truth. God must give you the love of truth before you can even be saved. Come quickly, Lord Jesus, because that's the only real hope for America and this world. It's going to be nasty when it comes, but the enduring hope for this world is the return of Jesus Christ. What we're seeing now is Satan on a rampage because he knows his time is short. And all his children, which means everybody that's not born again, you're all under his influence, uh, are just becoming psychotic. You know, but if you, if you think about the direction the United States has been going, you go back to, well, it goes back to the Enlightenment. The United States is not based on the Word of God. It's based on the Enlightenment. And it wasn't light that that brought in. It was the beginning of the effort to overthrow God in Western civilization. And the United States led that revolution. And it spread from the United States into Latin and South America and into France. And look at the French Revolution. Look at the reign of terror. The United States inspired that. The French threw off Christianity. Even if it was a corrupt Christianity, it was still better than what followed. Revolutions 
don't come from God. Goodness comes from God. Life comes from God. Love comes from God. Truth comes from God. What is contrary to God is evil and only begets more evil. Those who put their trust in Donald Trump or any man are idolaters. Only God is worthy of trust. 